I was watching Jeopardy recently, and the clue was, and I'm paraphrasing a bit, according to the Japanese poet or filmmaker or someone in high level of media culture in Japan, these two words are the most destructive to American culture. I want you to try and guess what those two words are as I tell you the story. I'm listening to one of the martial arts gurus, martial arts business gurus, who is definitely a guru. The guy knows his stuff. He's very sharp, but he completely blew this lesson. The question to him from another instructor was, how do you deal with a disruptive student? So this response was, the first thing you do is proximity influence. Proximity influence. What that means is you find a child next to the disruptive child that's behaving as they should in class. For instance, if it is being disruptive and not focused and not standing still, and Sally is, well, you compliment Sally so that you can see she's getting compliment. He's going to want to be just like Sally. Number two, you talk to the entire class, but you keep eye contact with Billy. That way he knows the message is for him. Ooh. And the last thing you do, the point of last resort, is you actually talk to Billy himself. <gasps> maybe his mom will hear it and maybe you could get in trouble. Guess what folks? That is not teaching. That is trying to get through a class with the least amount of friction as possible. The final result is actually talk to Billy. And he went through a little role play of what that might sound like. Billy, come here now. It was important that you're learning how to focus. You must stand still during class so you learn self-control. Got it? Good. Good job. High five. Tell me what is a good job. How did the kid do a good job? He didn't do a good job. He's screwing up. That's why you went through proximity influence and then complimenting Sally and then talking to the class. And finally, when you grew a pair, you brought the child over to talk to him. And because he's been messing up and because he has not been focusing, you reinforce it with High five, that's just great. Oh, by the way, those two words that the Japanese cultural expert says is destroying our society, good job.